In this video, I'll show you how to crop a picture into a circle or any shape in Microsoft Word. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So I've got a blank document here and let's say we want to insert a picture and have it in a circle crop. So let's go to insert a picture and then click online pictures and we'll just look for any picture whatsoever. Uh, let's say we go uh, with a picture of a family here. Uh, and let's say uh, what picture, whatever picture that's available, but let's, uh, because we want to do a circle crop, let's go for a picture with a fewer people. Uh, let's say uh, like this one, and then let's click on insert. The and the picture is actually going to download and come in right here. So uh, we can uh, delete this particular option, sorry, control Z. We can delete this particular text here. Let's remove it. Uh, and then we need now to format our picture into whatever we want. So let's say uh, we double click on it to pull up the picture format or just click on this. Now let's crop this into a circle. Let's go into this and then look for a shape. Let's say this, that's an oval. Uh, the oval that we've got uh, to make it into a complete circle, we'll need to click on the crop down uh, again, aspect ratio, one is to one. Now from this section, you can make your adjustments uh, the way you want. If you bring in this, it makes the circle a little bit smaller, control Z, but if you hold the shift key, it makes it to shrink down into a circle uh, or the circle that you want. Now you can also make your adjust adjustment by dragging the photo where you want it to be. Let's say there, looks good. Or you can also just hold the handles of that photo to make it larger or smaller. Let's bring them inside here and then make it slightly, uh, just uh, looks good there. Let's click outside. Now, once we click outside, we have our picture into a circle crop. Looks really good. And now you can work with your picture, do whatever you want to the picture. Let's assume you wanted to add a border to this particular picture. It's pretty simple. Just go to picture format then click on picture border. At the moment, it doesn't have an outline. Let's say we give it an orange outline. Here we go. Uh, but you'll notice that uh, we can, we might need to just remove some of this, the alt text uh, option, uh, delete that. So we remain with the picture alone and then go back to the picture format. And then let's add some weight to that particular uh, border. That looks good but you can also right click on it and format picture. If we wanted to adjust the size and then go to uh, the fill and line, and then for the width, let's just add that to about something like, that looks, uh, let's say 15 points, that looks good. So that's our picture in a circle crop. Looks good and more or less, some of the pictures that uh, you see online maybe on thumbnails etc but that is how you can make a circle crop uh, let's delete this picture and let's say we want to crop into any shape available let's go to insert again and then let's get a picture from the online resources available and let's say what do we want let's scroll down slightly uh, let's say you just want uh, to get a house and crop it into anything that you want let's insert this uh, photo here we go. And let's say we want to crop it into a shape. Now, uh, with the picture available, it's in the picture format. Let's go to the crop option, click on the drop down, crop to shape. And there are a ton of shapes that you can actually uh, use. Let's say we go with a hexagon, click on that, and that is what you get. Let's say we want to change that to a different uh, shape here. Uh, let's say we want a love heart. Looks good as well. Uh, let's see, we go with an arrow, you get an arrow as well. And actually this one looks uh, good because it looks more or less like a house. You can now make your picture the size that you want by just holding the edges and pulling them uh, where you want them to be. So that is how you can crop a picture into a circle or any shape in Microsoft Word. I hope this tutorial is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.